Hello, my name is Sean, and this is Pecan Peak Ranch. If you're new to this channel, thank you for joining us, and welcome to the ranch. Uh, today, uh, we have a video by a lady that I know. Let me just hit um, record here on my screen so that you'll, you'll be able to uh, follow along with me here. But uh, So it should be this lady right here. Um, I know her. Uh, so this is no surprise. I've seen this video the day I saw this video. I sent this this lady that I've known for years, and it's like, yeah, I have I have more respect for you today than I did yesterday, and it's because of the proof factor, and I, I think that's so important with sportsmen, um, because there are just so many people that are all talk, and and this woman is not one of those people. Okay, all right. So you can see she's got. Uh, you can see why we're friends. You can see from her Facebook page there. But let's get over and watch this video of hers. Um, so let's do it. Um, I'm gonna hit play here and uh, just let y'all watch the video one time straight through and then I'll put my commentary on. Get it ready, get it ready, get it ready, get it ready, get it ready. <laughs> Okay, so we'll uh, watch this again together, and I'll give you my commentary. Um, the first thing that I'm that I'm that I'm noticing here is her equipment and the distance. I'm I'm judging to be 50, 60 yards, something like that. Um, also, uh, appears to be a freehand shot, which is, I mean, that's good. It takes some skill to to shoot freehand at this distance, but um, let's uh, let's let it play out here a second. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Get ready. Obviously, dog, get ready. And this, this is, I know this was her best dog and passed away. Um, he's having a little party there at the end. Uh, so, yeah, uh, so a couple things to, to, to note if we if we just kind of go back and, and, and critique uh, this tracker's equipment, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm giving her an A. Plus. Uh, I don't even have suppressor. I mean, this is, these are expensive. These suppressors are expensive. There's paperwork to be done. They are awesome. They protect your hearing. I'm, I'm losing hearing in my right ear. If you've been shooting a lot your whole life, like I have been, you probably are as well. These uh, suppressors are great for the ears and they're also great for the ears of dogs. And when my Labrador passed away at 14 and a half years, she was deaf as a doornail. And I'm sure it's for me standing over and shooting her all, over her all the time for a lot of years. So I think that the, the suppressors are good for dogs and they're good for people. In this case, the dog's not close enough to where it would be a concern for the dog's hearing. But when you shoot right over them, it, it dang sure does, you know, ring their ears. But anyway, so uh, the the equipment is ideal. You got you got a nice scope here. Uh, I can't see what brand that is, but it, it's, that's a good piece of glass. So she's able to see clearly through this scope. She knows exactly where her dog is. I, I can't really see, or you won't be you, you won't be able to see very well uh, on the video uh, because there's such tall grass. But but if you look closely, you can see the dog is over to the left. Now, I, I like it better when the dog was wider left, and it seemed like the dog was getting closer to the left. But like I said, I'm not the one that's behind the rifle seeing the whole scene. And I'm also not the one that, that, that tracked this deer and had the success. So uh, I'm basically going to critique what she's done, try to learn from it, try to help you learn from it, and appreciate what, what she's accomplished here. So, uh, what, which is, is finding this deer. And okay, so now uh, the equipment, freehand shot, Scope, sound suppressor. Oh, the bolt action. It's a bolt action, which is definitely, I, I mean, I, an automatic sounds great and a fully automatic. And I, I tell you what, I, these automatic rifle weapons, semi automatic rep weapons, whatever, they're super popular, whether, whether it's semi automatic or automatic. But I can tell you that everybody, everybody I know comes out to the ranch with a uh, assault rifle. And goes out, shoots like 15 shots, and brings back this much game. So uh, I respect. It's got a bolt action, which is really standard issue for for deer hunters. Uh, it, it's about placement of the shot, especially around the dog. I, I like seeing a bolt action, but also <laughs> watch this action. Uh, this is not the bolt. This is the shooter. I mean, so after she shoots, watch this. She doesn't even know. Her mind does not know what just happened. So that's a, that's that's memory reflex right there. 
that that right there when she cycles that she's going on with her hunt she's she's not concentrating that all happens once you get accustomed to that that uh, that all just goes on and she's got it right back up ready to shoot again uh, got an eye on the situation in the, in the scope uh, she doesn't need to shoot again she got a great shot on the deer um, and, and the dog stays with the deer and and, and, and that's important now, that seems sort of elementary but most of the time when I shoot game, it still runs. Even if it's already wounded. I mean, I have shot hogs in the head with 12 gauge buckshot and then had to finish them off. Um, you know, if you don't get them just in the right spot or whatever, they're going to run like this. So the dog sticks with it. She sticks with it. Uh, just, just, well, this is a professional. This is a professional. I mean, so she is a professional tracker and deer hunting guide. So awesome. Thanks for sharing Courtney. And, uh, Let's see, was there anything else? Uh, mic uh, no, no, the, the, the other thing I want to talk about was the, uh, what I call micro commands or um, micro training. So, um, like a macro command is like track. So at the beginning of the track, she's going to say track, send the dog after the deer. That's a macro command, okay? But as you're moving through and th different things are going on, you have little sub commands, little ways of talking. And when she's saying, get around, get around, she's... Those are some of those personality, very specific, what I call micro commands, just basically discussion between you and your dog while the heat of the moment is happening. Uh, and, and, and so I thought that was really cool. And I, I could tell it's like she knows this dog real well and this dog knows her real well. So uh, get it rowdy, I'll never forget that. So, uh, and, and, and the out command, uh, by the way, at 60 yards, I mean, I would probably use it. I, you have to be a little bit sparing, especially with hogs that aren't wounded or game that's not wounded at all. When you start hauling around them, they're liable to break and run. Now, when I'm close up and I'm about to shoot something, I, 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 I call out whatever. In 60 yards, I'm not even sure, like, if she were to haul her out from right there, haul her out, out really loudly right there, that deer might have broken and run. It might have run another three miles. They might, she might not have gotten the deer. So, uh, but by the way, kind of to each his own. I like to use out command anytime right before I shoot because I feel like I just want my dogs to know that I'm about to shoot. And by the way, they know when they're at that point and I've got a gun, which I always do, uh, so they know I have a gun, but when they're when we're at that point and game is cornered and I call out, they know what's coming. And so they'll just just kind of make a little back and then they'll if it runs off, they'll chase it, etc. Anyway, uh, beautiful, uh, beautiful... Uh, video here. I'm so glad I got the, uh, the, the, I guess the, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, the actual copy much better than the copy that's on Facebook. Uh, hope you all enjoyed this. Please uh, feel free to comment or weigh in and, um, let me know if you like this type of content. I may do some more reacts. I may not. Uh, of course we have our, our, our fundamental, um, raising dogs and cattle, uh, lots of action coming your way.